hi and welcome to this youtube video so in this video i will be uh, teaching you how to fix email sending error that comes from django so i have this very simple signal that sends an email uh, to a specific user anytime uh, an object is created so if i come here now and try to simulate it i'll just type in some random thing and for the email, I'm going to type in my actual email. And I'm just going to type in a random thing there, random thing here. So when I hit save right now, I'm going to get the error saying uh, SSL certificates failed. Now, there are like two reasons why this uh, error is coming. So the first, uh, the, the reason why this error comes is because uh, when because of when we're like sending an email from development server or when the domain that we're currently using in a self signed setting. So what we're just going to do is we're going to come to uh, the settings.py file. Now I'm sure your settings.py file looks like this. You have your email port, e email use TLS, you have email host user and your password. Now I just put uh, hashtags here. Hide my actual email and password. Now you notice that this is a custom email backend that we, uh, that we are using. Now the reason why we're getting this error is because there was an update in I think uh, Django version 4.2. Now after that update, that was when uh, this error started occurring. So what we are going to do now is we are going to build our own custom email backend. So what I just want you to do is uh, select whatever application folder you want your back your email backend file to be. Now, I put my own in the student app. So go to that folder and then I want you to create a new folder called backend. So let me just zoom in here. So I want you to create a new folder called backend inside application that you have selected, anyone you want in your Django project. And then inside backend, I want you to create a file called email backend high file, or you can name it whatever you want. So just create that file, create the folder called backend. And inside that folder, create and uh, create a Python file. I named my email email underscore backend or py. Now just type everything that you see here. I'm not really going to go into detail as to what this code means, but what it basically does is that it extends Django's email system and it introduces a special method called SSL context. Now this method just helps to create a secure connection for sending emails. So once you've typed all this. I want you to just save it. You can pause the video right now and uh, you can just type everything on the screen. So after you have um, typed everything, just save this file. Then we need to head back to the settings.py. Now, once we've head, headed back there, we are going to, we are going to comment this out. And so after commenting the default Django's uh, email backend, that is Django. Let me zoom in here smtp. What we now want to do is we want to set the email backend setting to the one that we had just created right here. Our email backend or pi file, which was inside the backends folder, which was inside a different application. Now, what you just need to do is you first specify the name of the app. You know, the name of the, the, name of the app where I placed this file was called student app. Now, after specifying the name of the app, you type backends, which is the folder that the main file is in. Backends. Then you say dot email underscore backend. Now this represents whatever name you give your file. So remember inside the backends uh, folder, I said you'd create a file named email underscore backend or py. But you can also give it whatever name you want. So I named mine email underscore backend. So that is why I am saying dot email underscore backend right here. So if you named it something differently, make sure you put it here. And then we're now saying finally dot email backend. Now, when we're saying dot email backend, we're just trying to reference the class itself called email backend, which helps, which is the new um, backend class that we're going to be using to send our email. So once you've done that, I just want you to save uh, all the changes that have been made. Now, once you've saved the changes, I'm just going to go back to my browser and I am going to refresh and try to uh run this i'm trying to run this uh 
in again to see if it comes. So I'm just going to select all these values. And once I hit save, it should send that email to my uh, uh, Gmail. And you can see there is no error. And if I come to my Gmail right here, I should have received that Gmail uh, from Django. So as you can see, it's new. And when I open it, you can see it came in just now, zero minutes by zooming. So you can see right now we were so we successfully created our own email backend. Uh, and then we're able to get our emails to get, we're able to send our emails successfully. So that is all I'm going to talk about in this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please leave a comment in the comment section. Um, like this video and share it. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video.